السلام عليكم الحمد لله رب العالمين أدين الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله Get you down from here 
into the earth, right? As your place of livelihood, right? As your place of sojourn, as your place of resurrection, right? And what do you, how do we know this is it? Because Allah says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim in Ayat 30 of Bakhara. If Paul, I read book El Lil Malak in Kati in Nijah in Lumfilati Khalifa, he said to the angels, "I'm making a Khalifa not in the sky, in the earth." That's what he called angels together, and said, "And say when your Lord, your rapper, when he said to the angels." Yeah, in Lunfield, I did Halifa. I'm making in the land, I'm making in the earth a ruler. Not in the heavens. And then if it was in the heavens, he said, get you down from here into the earth as your place of livelihood, your place of, of sojourn, etc., 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 right? And then Allah says in another place, I make the sky as a canopy and I make the earth as a coffin. And I brought from it dates, right? Rain, right? Olives. I brought forth all of these things to serve you. And he also say in the in the alternation of the night and the day, right? And in this and in that are signs for you, etc. And the oceans from which you go and get the pearls and the fish, right? So we pray, Rabbana Adin Abidunya has to give us the excellence in this life. So we have the best life as people, as believers. But as Muslims and believers, we have to believe in the life beyond this life. That there's another life. That when we pass, there's a transition to another life. There's a life, the unseen, right? Allah says in Bakhara. Right? This is the book where there's no doubt. It is a guide to those that have taqwa. And Ladina, those who believe in Bill Gay, the unseen, and establish Yukti Moon as Salah. But first you believe in the unseen. So you don't confuse your Salah with praying to a man or a tree or something you can see, right? So you believe in the unseen. And I'm seeing reality, something bigger than us, right? So you believe in the unseen. So the dua say, give us the best in this life, but also that life unseen, that future life, the next day, next day, but that big, the accurate, right? Right then, the accurate, the husband thing, well, the accurate, the husband thing, what you have been now and protect us from the torment of the hell on this life and in the next, right? Be accurate. But the word, and we do this every people, Hassan, Hassana, beauty, right? Hassana, all of it. Give us the excellence now, and give us the excellence later. And that's a dua, we pray that. Alhamdulillah, that's what I mean. Because the reality is, and we'll go straight to the sewer now. So we're talking life, death, this life, next life. And we pray that Allah will accept our Juma today, cut by in the Salah, cleanse our hearts and our minds that our intentions will be clean and honorable. Allah says in the sewer, Mok, Mok, the dominion of the kingdom, sewer 67. Listen carefully what Allah says. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Tabaraka. Barak Baraka. Blessings, right? That's not, but it's not that Baraka, uh, he blessed you. Tabaraka. Blessed is he consistently. He put consistency. Now, when that's on it, present and future, right? Allah says, Tabarakal ladi biyandihil mok. 
<laughs> Blessed is he in whose yet, yet is hand. Control, hand, right? But we know Allah doesn't have hands like us. He's not a human being. But he used that same word to connect with us, control. Blessed is he in whose control. You grab something, right? You move it with your hands, but also this same word is in Ayatul Kursi. Bakara, Ayat 255. When Allah says, Yet lemu mabena aidihim, him. He knows, Yet lemu mabena aidihim wa mahaufahum. He knows what is in front of you, but he used the word hands. Same word as this. Because it is it, beauty of Quran. We can only do our work with what's in front of us, with our hands. We can't work like this. So that's how these words are sometimes used for in front, right? So, and that's how you translate. He knows, yeah, lemu, what's in front of you and what's in behind you. But he used the same word for hands. Because we can only work and control and do things with our hands in the front. Right? So, so there's a lot of wisdom there. So Allah says, blessed is he <laughs> in the front, who, 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 in whose hands is obvious the kingdom. Ain't no question about it, right? And Allah says that about himself. He's the obvious and the hidden, right? The obvious, right? Right? So Allah says, blessed is he in whose hands. So we can get the concept. Allah don't have hands like us, right? It's control. Right? Blessed is he in whose hands is the dominion. This whole kingdom is Allah's. But it ain't like it's in somebody else's control. Like he said, kingdom in existence. But yo, you got it. You run it. Allah is in control at all times. Right? Blessed, blessed is he. Blessings, we get blessings from him, etc. Right? Respect him in whose hands. So you get it, so we can get a better idea, right? Yeah, control it, moving it, right? Fighting it off. Whatever we do with our hands, right? <laughs> Allahu Akbar, <laughs> right? Raise our hands, right? Allahu Akbar. Whatever, whatever we can do with our hands to give us an idea. But he's letting you know that. So let's control. Bless is he in whose control? His hand. There's another place that he says two hands. Rahman Rahim, right? Control, power, right? Azizul Hakim. You always hear two together. Azizul Hakim, right? His wise hand, right? His powerful hand, right? All of that, right? Rahman Rahim, right? Hands, right? Right hand, left hand, etc. Right? Just for us to get the concept. And that's more. Your minion. And the first thing he let us know of his whole universe, everything in existence, that blessed is Allah. He controls this. So whatever we see happening, will we understand it, whether it helps us or hurt us on a human level, what we say, Allah Allah. Your heart hurt, you lost someone. This happened, that happened. We'll be tested. But at the end of the day, Allah is in control. Right? As Muhammad the Prophet reminded us, what hit you could not have missed you, and what missed you could not have hit you. Because Allah is in control at all times. We have a limited free will, we do what we can do, but at the end of the day, some say, mashallah, right? We get Allah Alhamdulillah, I mean, that's the believer, that's the test on the believer. And Allah continues that we didn't finish that out yet. So, Tabarakaladi, beyond the hill, move. If I stop, it move. Beyond the hill, move. Go. Wahua Allah, do the shame for the year. Kingdom in his hands. But listen to this. Wahua, Wahua, and he has power. Over everything. <laughs> you see how it's emphasized? If he controls it, he got the power already, right? But Allah says, 
Yes, in my hands, and nobody else is controlling this. I'm controlling it, and I have the power. And he said, Wahuah, what right, Wahuah, Allah, Kuli Shayin Hadir. And over all things is his power, his control, right? His power, the destiny, right? The determination, Qadr, right? Qadr, all that comes from the same, right? We have Qadr, predestination, they translated, right? Then you also have uh, uh, Leo to Qadr, all QDR, right? All that comes from the same, right? Night of determination of powers, fixed, etc., right? He has power over all things. Predestination, all that comes off of that, right? And Allah says in Surah Allah, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Sabi hispi rabbi ka ala, el la di falaka fasawa, right? El la di katara, katara, fahada. Then he's empowered you to follow the guy. So you see, katara shows up a lot, right? And ala, right? Blessed is he. He lost it. Sabi hispi rabbi ka ala. Glorify the name of your Lord. El la di falaka, who created, right? Falaka. Wasawa, right? And love with you. Give it balance. And then he says, Pandora, what had that? And empowered you with the guidance. Right? But anyway, standing here in, in Malt. Then the second ayah. Which led us to this. We had this, but as we was talking about our existence in the best in this life, the dua, and how Allah said to the angels that he's making in the earth a khalifa. And for us, the dua, to give us the best in this earth, because he put us in the earth. But also, we want the best in that life beyond this life, the next day, right? And we associate that life Beyond this life is the Bible. We don't know it, we don't see it, but we're associated with when we pass this life, right? We know it's the next day, next day, next day, but it's the big the life beyond this life. So we want, so we're associated with the best while we're alive. And whatever that life is behind that, we want the highest and the best there. We believe in that, we're sure of that, right? So life and death. But before we were created, we were non-existent, as we know on this, on this physical plane. And that's what Allah says here in the next ayat. That he has power over all things, this is his dominion. And life and death, like sun, moon, star, rain, right? Happiness, sadness, everything that exists in this, right? And life and death exists. But look what Allah says. And we see it and we separate from ourselves. When a time comes, the trees die, right? The plants and the flowers die, right? Spring come, and we see them start coming back alive, right? And then you take that dead seed, that watermelon seed, that orange seed, dead. Who? It hit the earth, lost in the water, and next thing you know, new life. And Allah gives those examples. How are you going to doubt that you're going to be raised again? Then in another place, Allah say, if you think I can't raise you, consider the fact I created you from dust. But anyway, Allah says in Bakr and Ayah 2 of this, Surah 67, Mok, El Ladi, listen, El Ladi, Kalaka, has he created. Kalaka, Mount. Mount is death. You see? And it says, Well, Hayate, and then life. But here he presents death first. But although we hurt when we lose someone and we don't want to die, that is a created thing. That's not a strange thing. Allah says, he says, and let thee, in his hand is to control. He has power over all things, and within his dominion is death. He said, and death, and then life here. That you came from what we know to be death or non-existent on this level, but it's a created thing. <laughs> I know we may not want to talk about it, but it is a created, it's a creation. Meaning when you transition and go there, you're going to another creation. It's not a strange thing. 
It said, it is he who created death and then brought you to life. Where was you at? I don't know. Where was I at? But Allah says, it, before that, it was death first. And then you came into existence. But it's not an accident. We don't want to die, etc. But I said, I created death, then brought you to life. And then it says, now you go to the Janet and say, from the earth you came, to the earth returned, and from the earth you'll be brought up again. Brought back to life. And whatever exists in know. So we're going from this source. But isn't it interesting? But 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 I, I think we can grasp it when we read the first one where Allah says, this kingdom is it blessed is he in whose hands? His hand. Life, death. I control both. And he has power over everything. Over life and death. That he can raise you from the dead. He can give you a new life. Never doubt. He can give your business a new life. He can give your mind a new life. He can give your spirit a new life. He can give your marriage a new life. He can give your business a new life. Allah says, if you doubt that, though, go to Sua. Ha, yes. Yes, ha, 22. I had five. He said, if you doubt that, that, that I can raise you, well, consider the fact I created you from turab and from dust. And then from the new fat, life journey, and takes you through the process. So you you no more than dust, which you might call <coughs> death. So Allah says, Holoka is already created. So it's destined. We live, we die. But it's something that Allah created, not shaitan. And no matter how ugly it looks, somebody gets shot. Somebody like my mother that beat to death at 85, it hurt me. Allah's in control. He created death. That's part of the creation, man. You might not accept it. It might hurt you. You might not understand as Allah says in Bakwa, right? He says, speak not of those who are killed, fisi billah, as dead. Said so they're not dead, they're alive. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. That's our faith. It's your belief, test it. He said they're alive, you just don't understand. You just don't grasp it. It's transition, straight from Quran. So, Allah says, and this is the language here, and in several places. And Allah says, it is he who created it. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Brother, you see us? I'm okay. Thank you. And the thing fell upon He said he created death first. You were non existent as we know, if we want to say death, right? Then he brought you into existence. So he says, And the thing fell upon mouth, death, well, hayate. You hear the word for life? Well, hayate. What do the Muwazin say? Haya Salat. It's so beautiful. Haya is life. Allah is al Hayu al Tayu, the living in Bakura, Ayah 255. So Allah says, He says, Talak al Mount, He created death. Well, Hayat. Haya. And He said, We say, Haya Salat. Come alive to Salat, brothers and sisters. Salat is our source of life. Proper worship is the true source of life, right? Hayat Salat, Hayat Salat. And when you come alive to proper worship, Hayat Salat, four times, Hayat Salat, then inshallah you will have a successful life. Allah. You see, so the same word, and Allah says in Bible, he says in, he's Al Hayu, the living, the source of life. Al Hayu, the self supporting. So here in Mok, as the day of Palakal, Mok, there was a yad there. The yet blue were cool.
liep lukum yukum asnu amma wa huwa azizu ghafur that he may test you in the pur he creates that you are non existent but our point is he said he created it's a creation of Allah not shaitan that he created death let's get that and then life non existent so when you die as we know it you're not going so you're going to his creation the part of his creation and then you came alive and then Allah says and after that he'll give you new life there's a cycle right that we may not understand and we don't want to see our loved ones but Allah says I created you then gave you life where was you at before you came into existence, you and I? Where were we at? Allah knows. And he gave you new life. And Allah says, even if you don't understand, because the star, he said, blessed is he in whose hands. The first ayat, I'm reading it again. Blessed is he in whose hands. Right? is the king. So death and life is in this kingdom. And we see it, I mean, we don't like to see it ourselves. Like I said, in the wintertime, you see the trees and everything die. Then the spring coming back to life. And Allah, in one place, he said, thus is your resurrection. <laughs> thus is your bringing out. He said, do you not see a dry land? And I'll bring water down. And I'll cause the winds to blow it to a light and to, to a dead earth, and the water gives life, he said he makes it clear, after his death. It gives life after his death, and such will be your bringing out. So here in this soul monk, he said he created death and life that he may test. Now we go back to the dua. That's what let us say, right? Hassan, Hassan. Right? Rock banner acting after you doing that hustling thing, right? Well, I feel after that you hustling the thing, right? And Allah says what? That he may test who, which of you is Asanu Amana, who is excellent in his deeds. Allah <laughs> Akbar. And what do we say? Amilu Sali Hati. Those who believe and do good deeds, right? You understand, brother, sister, alhamdulillah, whatever that I mean, that Allah created death and life as a test to see which of you is best. Hassan, right? Who's excellent? As Muhammad the Prophet said, said, when a Muslim seeks to do something, he seeks to do his best, right? To see which, and Allah says he's with the Muqsinin, those who do good deeds, right? And we say, Allah, in the understanding of Allah, because Eladina, right? Except those who believe Emilu Sali Hati, right? Man is in loss, right? By the token of time, us, so us, and our spread. By the token of time, man is in loss. Except those who Emil, who believe in him, and do Emil, who do good deeds. So Allah says that he created death and life that he may test to see which of you is best. Hassan. Hassan is saying what? Hosan. Emelu in his action. And then Allah says, Well, who are Azizu the fool? Oh, God, so good. Because death and life is a challenge. Right? You lose someone. Whatever way you lose, or whatever way they die, or you're dying, what's your attitude? What's your faith? Allah said, death is a test, and we know that. Follow. It's a test, and so is life. Every day there's something, right? Allah said, do that to see who is best in his actions, in his deeds, right? And Allah says, oh, Allah is so compassionate. I'm not saying I'm the best. I might be the less than all of you. And we may be the less. But here's Allah's compassion. How does it end? He says, Wahua Azizu Gafur. 
he's the most powerful and the most forgiving. So then if I'm not as strong as you, as long as I'm trying and you trying, right, brother? Allah is a rock my Rahim, but he's also the most mighty, powerful. But with his power, he's not mean. He's all forgiving. So he's testing to see which of you is the best. But even if you're not better than this or that, don't worry. As long as your intentions are good, I will forgive you. Man is a judge by intention. And death is a test for sure. And so is life. Sometimes life is so much of a test. Man, it was a mercy you got out of here. Well, Lahi, I went to a brother, I won't call his name, beautiful spirit. He had cancer, he was passing. I said, he was in Piscataway. Let me go down and see. I don't really know what to see, to say to brother. Went to see this beautiful brother. And he said, brother, mom, I'm with my wife. He said, you can say, you can do up for me if you want. He said, but I'm praying for you all. Because y'all back here, I'm going home. <laughs> well, I hear. Well, I said, wow, this is a he said, he said, I'm good if you do that. You're going to say do I. This is what you do. He said, but I'm out, man. So I'm praying for you all back here under this challenge. You understand, brothers and sisters? That's that strong, beautiful brother, man. But that's the reality. That life is so much of a challenge. You know how high we can't do that. Suicide, this, that, and the other. But sometimes we have a loved one. We'll separate from ourselves. We don't want to never give a bad message when we try to take ourselves out. A loved one is real sick. And they finally, now you might feel guilty about pulling the cord, right? But really, you might say, my mother ain't going to live like this. Like no vegetable. I know mom. I know my relative, et cetera, right? So you pull the poor. You may feel guilty, but when you pull the poor, they don't die like that. They don't die until it's time for all I want them to die. But you will sometimes say, you know, it was really a mercy for them to pass away from this year, to think they're going to live like the best. So Allah says, it's in his creation to see which of you is best. But, but my point from Quran is, Allah is most merciful, and Allah is the forgiving. He's powerful, he's forgiving. So we strive to do the best. Strive to overcome your shortcomings. All of that, we're gonna make mistakes. But no, Allah says he's the powerful and he's the most forgiving. Rub and anything after doing your husband thing, what they anchor up your husband thing, what you need to do. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulahi kareem Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So right now we're still in the beautiful surah of Quran, surah Mok, the dominion, the king. And we so far went through ayat one and two, and here ayat, the third ayat. Listen to this. After Allah says what he says, us, life, death, this is within his, his hands, yeah, control, right? And then he brings something so close to us, death and life. And we see Janazas all the time. And we've seen this, we've seen cancer, we've seen uh, corona, we've seen wars. This is how we have to, ever since man been in existence, been life and death. World War I, World War II, a million people killed, right? During the time of Muhammad the Prophet, Islam, wars, battles, right? And the angels saw it, right? But when Allah said, it's called that, when he said to the angels, right? Dad, you don't feel like the Khalifa, I'm making in the earth a Khalifa, they said, well, you gonna make one that's gonna cause bloodshed and mischief? <laughs> well, I said, he said, no, he said, I know what you know not. That's part of the process. That's part of the process. So, so it may be difficult on us, but we know death, Allah says he created death. It exists, it's an existence. And then he brings us to life. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Then the third ayah, Allah says, 
الذي خلق الذي خلق سبع سماوات تباقى and it is he who created the seven tracks right yes seven seven سماوات seven levels of heaven seven tracks of heaven right earth sky right law controls it all right you say in his hand and Allah says yes Allah says yes he says ma tara fi qalbi rahmani and Allah says oh do you not see the creation of rahman <laughs> God is so good. Don't you tell you he's the forgiven, right? Now he says, he created the seven heavens. Put tracks there, right? Seven tracks. And he said to you, do you not see? Now he had told us something about the, the creation. Ra'ah. Do you not grant? Terah. Yes. Ra'ah. Terah. Fil. Kalaki. Rahman. Do you not see the creation of Rahman? All praise is due to Allah. Rahman, creation, his mercy. And we know that because each saw, and Allah said, we say, he says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, right? Then Allah goes to 55 and he says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Oh, Rahman, bam! The merciful benefactor, the mercy. What of him? Adam al Quran. That Rahman taught Quran. Rahman, Rahman. And then he says, Talakal and sang, and then created man and taught him intelligent speech, right? And then he established me hand, the balance. That's, that's, that's Rahman. And so Allah says, all right, seven levels. He said, well, are you paying attention to the creation of the merciful? Because you part of that creation, and I'm merciful to you, right? General mercy. Do you not think on that? The whole creation of Rahman. And Allah says, so in looking at it and considering it, he says, Rahmani min tefaqut, min tefaqut. He says, do you see any flaws? Any inconsistencies? It's perfect. He said, do you not see the creation? Then he said, the seven heavens, look up there. Of the mercy for Rahman. Do you see any inconsistency? Any breaks? And Allah says, Fungi ul besara haltera min futur. And he says, Now turn your basket, turn your vision there again. Do you see any inconsistency? Right, to return, right? To return, right? Right the own, right? Yeah. He said, then return and look again. <laughs> and he says, and look again, right? And you don't see, you don't see. And then Allah says in the next idea, it's beautiful, but he tell you that. He said, Thum mat, thum, thum marjil basara, yes, terane, ya terane. And then he said, then turn your vision two more times. <laughs> Do you not see the creation of Rahman? Look to the heavens, look around. He said, you don't see any inconsistencies? He says, now look again, look, look two more times. <laughs> and say, your eyes will come back weary and tired. And he said, and that's the creation of Rahman. That's the mercy of that, that, you know. So, alhamdulillah, he rubbed behind me. And Allah says, so you turn again, and your eyes will come back weary. Alhamdulillah, he rubbed behind me. So, just some thoughts from Surah Mok, Surah 67, mm. as we went through that before we closed. Always remember, this is Allah's creation. And for those who wasn't here, just real quick, Allah starts this Mok, his kingdom, death, life. 
good, bad, all the things that they did. As in Allah's control. Nothing comes to existence without Allah's permission. So Allah says, Tabarakalati Fiyendi Hil Muk Wahua Ala Kulisha in Kadir. He says, Blessed is he in whose control is this king, the dominion, and he has power over all things. And the day called of our mouth, there were Hayate, the yet blue at whom you come as a new Emmela, Emmela, who are Azizul Hagafur. And he created death and life that he may test you. See who is the best, who is good in their deeds, but he is the mighty to forgive you. And he created the heavens seven levels. And he say it's consistent. So Allah, Muhammad the Prophet has taught us in Allah says, Allah's plan and what Allah does is consistent. And in another word, Allah says, have no doubt. The promise of Allah is true. It's not inconsistent. If Allah say those who believe and are the doers of good, put them on bonds under which rivers flow, etc. It's consistent. There's no flaws there. He said the promise of Allah is true. And Allah says, that the that the believers will be successful. The promise of Allah is true. And we close with this because the challenge of life. And you can read Quran where Allah says, a messenger, a messenger with some of his followers. They were hit with an adversity so hard. Zelzaleh shook them. And they said, when comes the help of Allah? And Allah said, the help of Allah is always needed. And then one more before we close. It was one of the battles. I don't know if it was Badr, who the one that says, there was a small band of Muslims. An enemy had a huge band, right? And then there was another smaller band. But there was a big band that was coming against them. And Allah said, when they saw that big band, they didn't get scared and run. It said it invigorated them, right? Invigorated them. Gave them more courage and faith. And why is that? Allah said, in the Quran it said, because this is what Allah and his messenger promised us. He went on the strength of their honesty, the strength of the truth and the promise of Allah. He didn't tell you it's going to be a light fight. He said you will be overwhelmed at times. So when they saw that army, they didn't say, oh, we got to go, man. We got to call and fight because Muhammad and Allah promised us this. So be strong and faithful. Whatever hits you, could not have missed you. And know you will be tested with this and that. But let it invigorate you, brother. The loss of your mother, loss of your son, loss of this one. Let that invigorate you because the promise of Allah is true. Do you think you'll be able to say you believe and not be tried and tested? For surely we tried and tested those who Rabban, O oh our Lord, give us the best in this life. And the best in the next life. Amen. And protect us from the torment of the hell. Amen. Amen. Assalamu alaikum. He come.